What's up everybody, so I'm Ricardinho from Brazil, I'm 20 years old, I'm the World Football Freestyle Champion and uh, I practice freestyle uh, since 2009. Uh, so when I was younger, I, was, I always loved to play football, I look at everyone, but when I saw someone doing some skills, like easy skills, I was like, wow, that's super cool and you know, there was something special for me so I met a friend that he could uh, do some tricks and I was trying with him like every day we met each other to try and to try new skills and we watching videos on YouTube together and uh, yeah we started together and it was like how it started yeah my first competition was in 2011 it was in São Paulo, Brazil, a uh, Brazilian competition. And there I met a lot of guys that I was watching videos uh, when I started. And it was so cool. My best achievement, <laughs> it was in the Super Bowl when I won the world competition and yeah, it's my favorite moment. Yeah, my journey was, uh, I don't know how to explain exactly in English. It was really like kind of hard because you know, when you train a lot, you got some pains, but you know, I was like super focused on that. Sometimes I was thinking that I, that I was crazy, like so crazy to you know I was like walking at home and thinking about Super Bowl and my grandmother was every time talk to me like hey stop thinking about it you are like crazy you just walk at home like you don't stop to walking and I can see you are thinking about it stop thinking about it just for a moment you are getting crazy go sleep and you know when it was night I, I couldn't sleep it, I was like so crazy thinking and preparing my mind because I knew like um, before I won I have been Super Bowl for, like two years and I saw it, it was like I saw the moment and I, I saved it on my mind to prepare like for the next year I always do like this and I was like thinking about it too many times but I think I did the right things, you know, I focused exactly for in what I was needed to do. So, yeah, it was, I have big memories from this. And, yeah, it was really cool journey to the, the goal. It was it was so funny because when we arrived at Super Bowl, he has here one ball, but I look at his ball and I thought, oh bro, you know this ball? I don't think it's so good ball. I think it slept so much. And he was, you really? Why you think it's man? Trust me. And he was like, can I try your ball? And yeah, sure. And he tried uh, my ball with my ball, and he 
man, your ball is too much better. And I say, man, if you want to use it, you know, enjoy. <laughs> but we didn't expect it. You know, it wasn't a start. But I did, we didn't expect that we would, we would go to the final <laughs> and we was using the same ball, so we need to share it. So it was so funny because I think since the second round, we was like doing a performance because we didn't drop the ball. So it was so cool. Uh, I know him since uh, I started freestyle. He was my biggest motivation. Like, I think if there is a guy that motivated me at this sport, it was Pedrinho. I every day, like, man, every day I was watching his video on YouTube, and I super like everything. Like his style was so cool. The song that he put in the video was like so cool. Editions, like I was like like this on the computer every time. And it was like, man, I need to do it. Like, I don't even knew that do like ATW, but you know, he was like scorer tricks, amat, amat, and I was like, man, this guy is sick, and his style is so cool. So every day, man, every day, oh, freestyle impacts my life, man, in everything. Freestyle impacts my life in everything, in every decision I first think about in my freestyle life. So it's the most important thing in my life. To be honest, I want to be a champion again, and uh, I want to to live in for the rest of my life with freestyle. So that's my goal. My training system, yeah, I try in every style in all my trainings. I mean, like, I don't like to separate anymore, like, oh, okay, this train I'm gonna try to sit down, this train I'm gonna try to up. No, I like to train around, like, every session. Because if not, my training will get boring for me, like, okay, this train I'm trying to only lowers. It will get boring. No, I follow the music. If I listen, uh, part of the music that is so cool and uh, okay now I can do like uppers and I do uh, uppers and uh, I try to like it three hours in my gym but when I'm at home I like to take the ball and try something to be honest like I think I'm always trying it with my mind like because I'm always thinking so I think if you are thinking about it you are trying your mind so yeah I would say yes So yeah, as I said, it's really different point of view because in Brazil, I really, to be honest, I don't think this sport grew up. But you know, when we arrive at Super Bowl, we we can see a lot of kids, right? So it's mean that the freestyle is growing because you there there is coming a new generation for this, and I'm really happy when I come here and see a lot of new generations. You know, when I see them, uh, they on the stage. I almost cry in some of these guys because I remember, you know, I'm, I'm still young, but you know, I was, I remember when I was like, like this, you know, and I remember my feelings, it was really different from now, but it's still so good. My Polish freestyle is always killing it and congrats uh, for you to be one of them and uh, I hope one day I have a really great session with you guys in Poland. <laughs> So my big inspiration or big motivation is like this, like uh, the life that freestyle give to me, like, I mean, travels and see different peoples, like from another countries, like make friends, like you gotta like uh, something like another family, you know, like really cool guys. So that's motivating me, like, because, you know, my life is really great. I feel like I'm so blessed when I, see the person that I have around me. So that's that's the best thing for me. So motivating. Yeah, what I don't like is like um, let's let's see some points. First, I don't like that some freestyle are confusing minds of people that don't understand freestyle. Like, hey, what's up, guys? So, 
I mean, someone in the professional football freestyle, and, and I'm gonna teach you do the skills of Ronaldinho. But I don't like it because you know, if you're a pro professional football freestyle, show the real freestyle. You know, sometimes it's good if you do some like different things. It's, you know, not bad, but. Especially in Brazil, we are like, we know some guys are doing like crazy things that every time when people see you are doing freestyle, they 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 just like, oh yeah, but Ronaldinho is better, right? And I would like to change, man. Like I can't understand why people can't see that it's too much harder than Ronaldinho is doing. You know, like I think like. Those people are stupid, kind of stupid, but I think we need to help them like, hey look, this is the real sport and this is football, you know. Some in Brazil, we I don't know of the in the rest of the world if it's like this, but in Brazil we got some guys that they don't want to train anymore, they just want to performance. You know, so if you want to do a meeting, they don't want. But if I invite him to do some performance, yeah, I want. Be a judge in Super Bowl, it's, it's giving me another eyes, you know, because it's really different when you just like I'd sit there and enjoy the battle, and when you are like look at the, the and the guys and the judge the like you know as a cushion control variation style and those things, you know, so it's really different. And when you are judge all the battles, it's you know man, you get another eyes because. You exactly see what the judges want to see, what you know. So this was perfect for me, I think. I think no, I'm sure. It's really cool experience. It's good to play freestyle because you can do a show, you can travel, <laughs> you can relax your mind, you can listen the music and play the ball like it's so good. Yeah, it's good to play freestyle because you got another mentality. You know, you can take a lot of examples of this sport to your life in whatever you want. You know, you learn a lot like, uh, like you know, you, lear you learn a lot about goals. Then you can take it for your another things in your life. It's perfect. You learn a lot. You got another mind. Yeah.